What's up everybody, 915 Mang here. Check out my reef tank, it's looking like crap. Uh, this is stuff called cyano, red slime, whatever you want to call it. It's ugly, it's uh, getting on my corals. I have done water changes and hasn't really helped at all. I'm gonna be using a product called ChemiClean and I'm basically gonna show you what it's all about, how to use it if you have any questions. It's made by Boy Enterprises, who are the people that make Kemi Pure, Kemi Pure Elite, Kemi Clean, Vitaclim, Kemi Bags, Bulk Media, Kemi Pure Green, Kemi Pure Blue. Uh, they make it, so this is a legit company. Um, I did buy this stuff, and uh, I'm going to show you how to use it. So basically, it's one of these scoops per every 10 gallons of aquarium water in your tank. Um, I have a 150. I did... 10 scoops then I noticed it cleaned up a little bit and then I had to do five more scoops um, because not all of the uh, red cyano disappeared as you can see this is the uh, section of my reef it was getting all over my corals it's on some of my zoas right there and it was dirty wasn't coming off at all um, I increased the flow um, this is kind of like a dead spot area but with that additional dosing, uh, it all went away pretty quick. Um, this is not my first time using Kimmy Clean. I've used it before, um, but I just never documented it. And uh, it's a good product. It will clean up your sand bed, kind of brighten up everything. Uh, it's not going to hurt your fish, but you do need to increase the flow, keep your protein skimmer going because. Uh, even though your skimmer is not going to be flowing pretty good, it's going to be overflowing because the chemical and the chemi clean uh, will just mess it up. So in a nutshell, what you need to do is one scoop per every 10 gallons. As soon as you're done, do a 20% water change. And after that, run some carbon, increase your flow, and you're good to go, guys. Real easy, good product, 20-something bucks. It's well worth it. And that was video with the uh, first 24 hours and this is video of it what it looked like after 48 hours a lot cleaner um, I did do that second dose on the tank where I added the additional five scoops I uh, still have some left over big difference and as you can see on the sand bed my next project because I'm gonna do um, another video for you guys on things that I wish I knew as a reefer starting off uh, is how to get rid of Aptasia and I got this product and I think you're really really gonna like it so thanks for watching you guys stay tuned for more videos hit that like and subscribe all these videos are free if you want to stay up to date all you have to do is hit that subscribe button thanks guys you have a good one take care